Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. Now the most notable features on the Grand Caravan is its hood deflector, its AM FM CD player, and its stow and go seating. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the Grand Caravan. One of them being is your daytime running lights, and if we just take a look on your front hood, you're going to see your hood deflector over on the side. You have your 17-inch wheels. The other nice thing with this Grand Caravan is it also has the body side moldings located on the sides. So in the event that you're parking in a tight parking lot, going to the grocery store to pick up some groceries, and uh, you're parked by the side of another vehicle and they accidentally hit their, their door against yours, instead of your uh, door being hit right here, it's just going to hit here instead. So it's protecting the paint so it, you don't have to get it replaced or fixed. Now I'm just going to quickly show you the second row seating. You have second row captain seats in the back here as well as your third row bench seat. Now the nice thing with these seats is you can actually have them stored underneath the floor so you can gain more storage capacity. It's the same way with the third row passengers, however I will show you later on in the video how you can actually do so. Now you also have your black style roof rack. And the color we're taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black cloth uh, interior seat surfaces, sorry. And the one thing I also forgot to mention is that you also have your heated mirrors as well. Now taking a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your light controls. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your mirror controls as well as your window controls for your front windows and your power locks. Now a couple of the controls you are going to see here on the steering wheel is your setup and reset and then you also have your cruise control settings just located on your right hand side. Now I'm just going to close in on the exact kilometers just so you have a much better idea of exactly where it's sitting at. So as you can see you're sitting at 48,478. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel, or sorry not your touch panel, but your AM FM CD player. So you have your AM FM disc auxiliary port and the auxiliary port is just located in your bottom right hand corner. Taking a look down below you're going to see your temperature control settings with your front and rear defroster. You also have your traction control on and off and then you have your hazard lights. And then taking a look just underneath you're going to see two additional power outlets just underneath there as well. And then if we take a look at the very top here, you're going to find your sunglass case holder as well as an additional mirror just on the inside here, just so you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate here, you're going to see um, this little guard just located on the back here. Now one of the nice things with that is if you have any kids and they like to put their own uh, bags in the back of the vehicle, there is that possibility of their bags scratching up against the paint. Now the nice thing with this guard is it's going to be taking the damage rather than your paint. So in the event that your kids are putting in their own bags and they accidentally scrape up against the back of the tailgate, it's scraping up against this rather than the paint. Now, your rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Dodge emblem here. And I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now, one of the nice things located on your left hand side is you have a little bit of storage area just to hide away some of your valuables. Now, one of the nice things with the Dodge is it does have this nice stow and go seating. So, to actually do the stow and go seating. You're just going to see the little numbers located on all the straps here. So if you just follow them in the order that it's given you, then you'll be able to fold the seats down. So once you have actually folded down the headrest, so I'll actually demonstrate here. So you just pull on this, it'll fold the headrest down. And then if you just take a look on the edge here, your number two will just be located right here. Pull on that, it'll fold the seat down for you. And then once you've completed that, pull three, and then finally pull the fourth and it will stow down into the floor for you. So the nice thing with that is if you do need the additional cargo capacity but as well as the passenger capacity, you can fold down your 60 side or your, foldy, or your 40 side, sorry. And then you also have some storage space just located down below in case you do need the additional space to put your kids' uh, hockey bags, your groceries, whatever you're looking to throw in the back. The nice thing with these stow and go seatings is if you need all the cargo capacity, you can actually fold down all the seats. That's the one of the things I like with this Dodge Grand Caravan is the stow and go seating. 
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.